Smile and learn. Hey, welcome to the Smile Toy Factory. My name is Windsor Devisor, and I'm the manager. You've just arrived on time. We're trying to figure out how to package all our toys. There are so many, but I know a few tricks to figure out if we'll have any toys left over when we put them in boxes. We call them the divisibility rules. I'll tell you about some of them. Look at how many robots there are. We want to put two in each box, but we need to know if there will be any left over. We can't send any boxes with only one robot. To find out, we'll be using the divisibility rules. The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is called the divisor. For example, if we have four robots and we want to put two in each box, there won't be any left over because the remainder of the division is zero. So four is divisible by two and the number two is its divisor. For example, the number 3 isn't divisible by 2, because if we divide 3 by 2, the remainder isn't 0. Look, the remainder is 1. Each number has its own divisibility rule. Some are based on adding all the digits. For others, you have to look at the last digits, and some can be done by doing several simple operations. Today we'll talk about the numbers divisible by 1, 2, 5, and 10. Numbers divisible by 1 There's a very special number which no divisibility rule is needed because any number you can think of is divisible by it. It's known as the universal divisor. Can you tell me what it is? Correct, the number 1. Every number can be divided by 1 and the remainder will always be 0. Alright, let's go solve our robot problem. Numbers divisible by 2. As you see, there are 264 robots and as I told you before that I'd want to put two robots in each box. We need to know if all the boxes will be full or if there will be robots left over. It's very easy to figure out. We can use the divisibility rule of 2. If it's an even number, it's divisible by 2, and if it's an odd number, it isn't divisible by 2. The remainder is 1, which is the number of robots left over. That means we will have one robot left over and we would have to make one more to fill the box. Let's give it a try. To figure out if a number is odd or even, we have to look at its last digit. The last digit of 264 is 4, which is an even number. So 264 is even and it should be divisible by 2. Let's test the rule. Look! The remainder is zero, and we have proven that the divisibility rule of two works. Fantastic! No robot was left over. Numbers divisible by five. Here we have dolls. In this case, we can always keep five in each box. To find out if we can divide them into boxes of five, we use the divisibility rule of five. To find out if a whole number is divisible by 5, we only have to look at the last digit. It's super easy. Every number ending in 5 or 0 is divisible by 5. There are 875 dolls, so if we store them 5 by 5, there will be none left over. You know why? Think of the multiplication table of 5. Let's look at the last digits. Did you notice anything? 
Exactly. All the results end in 5 and 0, as in our divisibility rule of 5. Let's go to the marble area. Numbers divisible by 10. We have 6,741 marbles. We're putting 10 in each box. Now we need to know the divisibility rule for the number 10, so that there are no marbles left over. This is much easier. We just have to check if the number we want to divide ends in 0. What do you think will happen when we pack up all our marbles? Very good. There will be marbles left over because the number 6741 is not divisible by 10. Can you guess how many we will have left over? There will be one left over! Well done. Thank you very much for your visit. I hope you enjoyed learning about the divisibility rules. They are very useful in everyday life. They will also be useful in your math classes at school because they give us clues to simplify fractions, to know if a number is prime, and a lot of other things. Time for a break. If you're hungry, you can stop by my brother Connor's fruit shop. He's right next door and he loves to be visited so he can teach his favorite divisibility rules. You'll have a great time. See you later. Hello! Welcome to Smile Fruit Shop, where you can find the best fruit on the market. My name is Connor Deviser. Nice to meet you. I'm preparing boxes of fruit to send to the neighborhood soup kitchen. To find out if I have any pieces of fruit left over when I put them in boxes, I will use the same trick my brother Windsor Deviser uses, the divisibility rules. The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is known to be its divisor. Today we'll talk about all those numbers that are divisible by 3 and 9. Numbers divisible by 3. I want to put 3 oranges in each box. To find out if a number can be divided by 3, there's a neat trick. We have to add up all the digits and if the result is divisible by 3, then the original number is 2. Let's see what happens with all the oranges we have. There are 4,175,676 oranges to sort. That's a huge number, but that's okay. We'll do it one step at a time. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. 23 plus 7 is 30 and 30 plus 6 is 36. Let's check if 36 is divisible by 3. In this case, dividing 36 by 3, the remainder is 0. That means 36 is divisible by 3. Since 36 is the result of adding the oranges, applying the divisibility rule of 3 means that there will be none left over if we pack 3 in each box. But what happens if we add the digits of a number and we get a very huge number? Doing division with such a large number would take us a long time, and what we want to know quickly is the divisibility of a number. In that case, after adding up the digits of the original number, we would go back and add again the digits of that number which we have obtained as a result to get a smaller number. If we get a number divisible by 3, then the original number should also be divisible by 3. When we added the number of oranges, we got 36. 
If we add up the digits of 36, we should have a number divisible by 3. Let's test our theory by adding its digits. 9 is a very small number, and we know that if we divide it by 3, the remainder will be 0. The divisibility rule of 3 is super fun because we can add digits as many times as we need. Isn't it very useful? Numbers divisible by 9 We also send bananas. They are very healthy. There are 361,017 bananas and we'll send 9 per box. Let's see if we have any left over. The divisibility rule of 9 is calculated in the same way as the number 3. We have to add its digits, divide the result by 9, and check that the remainder is 0. Take a look. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. And 11 plus 7 is 18. Now we'll do the division. Since the remainder is 0, 18 is divisible by 9, and so is the number of bananas. That means we won't have any bananas left over when we put them in the boxes. But, as with the divisibility rule of 3, the result of the sum of the number we want to check may be too large of a number. What do you think we could do then? Exactly! We are going to do the same as before, so we need to add their numbers again. The previous sum gave us 18, so 1 plus 8 is 9. A number is always divisible by itself, so we have already solved the banana problem. Whew. I'll be here for a long time loading these boxes. You can walk around in the meantime. Why don't you visit my brother Trevor's organic farm? I'm sure he could explain some divisibility rules you don't know yet. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video! Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn! Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time! Good morning! Welcome to my little farm! My name is Trevor Deviser. I'm super excited for your visit. I have a lot of animals, mostly sheep and chickens. You can see that they have plenty of room to roam, but now that winter is coming, they will need shelter. I want my animals to be very comfortable, so I will build stables and chicken coops where I will group them. It's important that the chicken coops and stables are full and that there aren't any of them left out in the cold. For that, I will use the divisibility rule. It's a custom in my family. Do you want me to remind you? The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is known to be its divisor. Today we'll learn about the numbers that are divisible by 4 and 8. Numbers divisible by 4 I love my sheep very much. I know all 344 names. As I want them to be comfortable, I have thought about building stables where they can rest in groups of 4 without any of them being left out. Let's recap. There are 344 sheep, and I want four to sleep in each stable. To find out if I can put them in groups of four without any left in the cold, I will use the divisibility rule of four. The method is based on two rules. If any of them is fulfilled, it means that our number is divisible by four. First, we have to check if the last two digits of the number we want to divide are zeros. If so, then we already know that it is divisible by 4. Let's check the number of sheep I have. Wow, it's 344. The number doesn't end in two zeros, so we have to check its divisibility with the other rule I was telling you about. 
We will continue to look at the last two digits, but this time we will check if the number they form is divisible by four. There are 344 sheep, so the last two digits are 44. Let's try dividing 44 by 4 and see if the remainder is 0. Yes, the remainder is 0. Which means that our original number, 344, is also divisible by 4. Awesome! All the stables will be full. I'll have to work hard before winter comes. I don't want my woolly friends to be cold. Come on, let's go to the chicken area now. Numbers divisible by 8. There are 2,856 hens, and believe it or not, I know all of their names too. I'm going to build 8 cedar coops. It's the perfect number for them to be comfortable. But, I have the same question as before. Will any chicken coop be incomplete? To get rid of any doubt, I will use the divisibility rule of 8. With such a large number, it will be very useful. Let's go! To find out which numbers are divisible by 8, we have to look at their last three digits and see if they meet one of the two criterias for the divisibility rule of 8. First, we will check if the last three digits are three zeros. The last three digits of our number are 856, so this criteria is not met. Aw, oh, man. Second rule, we will check if the last three numbers are divisible by 8. That is, we have to divide them by 8 and look at the remainder. Let's do it! The remainder of 856 divided by 8 is 0. That is, it is a perfect division. This means that 2,856 is divisible by 8, and therefore, no chicken coop will be incomplete. That's quite a few. I'll ask the whole divisor family for help. Well, I'll start now. I have a lot of work ahead of me and winter is coming. Why don't you stop by my family's restaurant? It's called Divisor Diners. My brother Taylor is the owner. I'm sure he'd love to meet you. He also uses some very curious divisibility rules. You'll have a great time. Good evening. Welcome to Divisor Diner. Would you like a table for dinner? Oh, hey, it's you who's been helping my brothers. I'm the oldest. My name is Taylor Divisor. I don't want to bother you, but could you give me a hand too? My customers love my olive salad and my famous blueberry tart, but I would like to know if any of the dishes will be missing ingredients. To find out, I will use the divisibility rule. Do you want me to remind you? The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is known to be its divisor. Come on, I'll teach you the divisibility rules for 6 and 12. Numbers divisible by 6. The recipe says that we have to add 6 olives to each salad, so we will apply the divisibility rule of 6, which is my favorite. The divisibility rule of six is something special. I love to calculate it as a family. Little brothers! There are 108 olives. To find out if this number is divisible by six, we have to check if it meets the divisibility rule of two and also three. Let's start with the rule of two. Windsor explained how to apply the divisibility rule of two. Remember, we have to check if the last digit is even. Our number ends in eight, which is an even number. So the rule of two is met. Now let's check the rule of three. 
Do you remember what Connor explained to you? To find out if a number is divisible by three, first we have to add its digits. Our result is nine. Since the number nine is divisible by three, the number 108 is also divisible by three. Now we know that 108 is divisible by two and also by three. That means it is also divisible by six. So when we add olives to the salads, each salad will have six delicious olives. Numbers divisible by 12. The restaurant's most famous dishes are 12 blueberry tarts. There are 144 blueberries. The easiest way to know if a number is divisible by 12 is to check if it is divisible by 3 and also by 4. First, let's apply the divisibility rule of 3 as we did before. Let's add the numbers. The result is 9 again. We know that 9 is divisible by 3, so 144 is divisible by 3. Look how quickly we figured it out. Now let us try the divisibility rule of 4. As my brother Trevor explained to you on his farm, we have to look at the last two digits of a number to find out its divisibility by 4. The last two digits are not two zeros, so we will have to check if the number 44 is divisible by 4. Let's divide. The remainder is 0, so 44 is divisible by 4, which means our original number is divisible by 4. 144 is divisible by 4. Let's go back into the kitchen. Since 144 is divisible by 3 and 4, that means it is also divisible by 12. Just what we needed. Each tart will be complete. We enjoyed meeting you. We hope you learned a lot about the divisibility rules. They are very useful. In addition, they will also be useful in your math classes at school because they give us many clues to simplify fractions, to know if a number is prime, and a lot of other things. Now enjoy your dinner. It's a Divisor House Treat. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.